Bam. And we're back. Been a while. So we went to do a podcast. We're going to do one every day, too. It's been a, like a month, month and a half. half. Yeah. We left for New Mexico on August 2nd. So we get a lot we can dig into. A lot, yeah. Two games. Two impressive games. 2-0. Oh. Mm-hmm. Fucking boys rocked it yesterday out in Oakland. Yep. I expected I expect us to be Oakland in that way, but I didn't expect us to only get our points in one quarter. That was crazy. Well, because Andy Reid took his foot off the gas, well, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't start good in the first quarter, and then we just had him beat by halftime, so it was like we just slowed down. Well, I knew we were going to have to withstand their rush because the Raiders were amped coming off that win. So I knew we were going to go out, have to go out there, withstand their energy for a little bit, then... Get a stop, and then it's going to be Raider football, and that's exactly yep. what happened. Yep. Um, being down ten to nothing, they control the clock. They came out with a good game plan. We would have had a good drive if McCall Hardman wouldn't have opened up his route, yeah. his out yeah, route. route. Yep. yep, he did. He opened it up instead of going flat. But a rookie, le- hey, you got that payback on that uh, house call getting called back. Dude, boys went that off sucks. fucking Mahomes, dude. That was crazy. That Regression. Was the, that was the most I've ever seen him attack downfield and be so successful. He and looks better. Order. It was crazy. Last year, yeah. he missed a lot of shit downfield. You know he what? He still was missing throws. Well, listen, well, but he shot happen. that one to Sammy, but he looked quick and he rushed that throw. Mahomes will rush a throw, but you can't have a quarterback, a perfect quarterback no, it yeah, just doesn't sure. exist he's, he's as good as you, you'll, you can get but i mean i'm just saying he still has room to grow which is scary and every one of his misses is like uh all right so uh you didn't flatten that you ran a route wrong or you didn't run to the open like the no look in the first week where he got cute and he can't do that shit i don't want him to change whatever you know yeah but if, if it if it costs us not getting a touchdown once or twice and he's trying to go out there and do that shit, I'm cool with it. Yeah, but he's got to uh, – he's, he's fine. I mean, you fucking can't make every throw, but the ones he misses are like – it's not like a, oh, you right. you missed. At least I'm throwing a pick, seven touchdowns and no picks. At least not this year. He, dude, he's so cold. I saw somebody tweet earlier said since his double-digit interception game in Los Angeles, that Monday night game. Double-digit interception? He threw two interceptions that game when we played the Rams. Double digit means like 10. I'm sorry, double digit. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Fucking double digit. Yeah. yeah that was uh, tragic. And Bortles. Uh, yeah. Um, car. But anyway, since he threw two picks against the Rams, he's thrown like two interceptions. Mm. Well, I mean, I think he's supposed to have like two or three interceptions right now, but they were dropped. Well, dude, it's like... All right, so Trent just entered. He's doing competitive flag. And... He went and bought a, a good football to go do this flag football league. And the little fucker comes home with a $100 NFL football. If you haven't played catch with a real NFL football, they're a fucking rack. You would absolutely know why Tom Brady brought that bitch down to 12 pounds in the cold. It breaks your fingers. It's heavy. They're harder to throw. And so when you have a quarterback that throws that ball like Mahomes and you have a corner or somebody who's never had their hands on a ball like that, it shocks the piss out of them. And it fucking hurts. Yeah. Well, I mean, one was like a lob into the end zone, though. It was a deep ball. Well, then when you have Mahomes' ball coming to you slowly, you probably think it's a dream and something's fucking wrong, so it messes yeah. you up. Am I going to catch a pick? <laughs> nope, I'm dropping it. Is something wrong here? <laughs> yeah. Man. Dude, we look so damn good. <laughs> Shady. I can't believe we got Shady McCoy, dude. I've always loved Shady McCoy. They shut uh, down our run, though, this week. Well, like 22 attempts for like 30 yards. Irving, Cam Irving, man, I like that dude, but he ain't a left tackle. He played really good other than, like, I think one of his mistakes, he passed block instead of run blocking on one of them, and then the rest, I'm pretty sure he did pretty good. He does all right. And um, somebody we know was bitching about Cam Irving at left tackle. Tell me 15 teams that have a legit badass left tackle. So to even have a decent backup left tackle, I mean, it's rare. Now, granted, when we play them, we make them look like all pros sometimes. Mm-hmm. And I don't get this everybody banging on fucking Clark. Go watch the tape. And, like, he's not going to get you five sacks a game if you think yeah. that you're, you're, you are you're have too many Derek Thomas highlights in your head. Yeah. 
but when you have holding calls, he's taking doubles, he's pushing the pocket, he's creating plays, he's shutting down bubbles. Yeah, he missed shutting down bubbles. That's huge. Missed one the first week, came this week, well, and knocked that Fournette Jones in. Just being crazy with that juice was insane. I yeah, don't know how you could have wrapped him up on that? Well, and Fournette was juiced coming out this yeah. season. You know, he's lighter, faster. And you're just a home opener. You wait all season for that yeah. first carry, and you're running back fresh. But, man, Frank Clark's going to be fine. Oh, Calm yeah. down, I boys. I know people were going crazy on that. Well, well, I get it, though. There's all of us on – there's a lot of guys on Twitter who watch the shit piss out of everything. Breakdown, Seth Kaiser shit. All the, all the boys have good breakdowns. If you're not watching all that shit and you're just watching a game – Okay, well, he ain't getting five sacks. Yeah. But I, mean, he's, I, ex- I did expect him to do better against Jacksonville when he was up against that backup left tackle. Well, he was. What, was he just getting double teamed a lot? Yeah, he's getting double teamed and chipped, and then they were getting the ball out, and the same thing Carr was doing. They were yeah, taking Carr's it. Getting quick. Getting out quick. Getting rid of the ball. We still put pressure on him. Chris Jones still got a sack. Well, man, and he what, got back there quick before Carr could. His like average time to get rid of was like two seconds, and Chris Jones got there before two seconds. That's nuts, dude. Chris Jones, pay the dude. Um, but you know what? When you start doing those quick passes and shit, that's when you start getting down batted balls because you're throwing short liners. So I mean, it's a give and take. There's every adjustment has an adjustment in football. Mm, yeah, that's why the game's so damn good. And then the reason why we got on the podcast course because all day today everybody's been talking about Minka. Was it Minka? Minka Fitzpatrick. Minka yeah. Fitzpatrick and. And Jalen Ramsey it was uh exa- what was that one dude Xavier, Xavier Williams? Will- Xavier Williams is our defensive tackle, or my name whoever. Who is the other corner in Miami? Xavier Rhodes. Ex- oh, that's from Minnesota. From no, Miami? no, no. Yeah. The um, first corner that they talked about drafting from Miami. I don't know. Anyway, my memory shit. But so. We're watching Monday Night Football. We're upstairs talking. I'm like, yeah, we got to do a podcast. We got to do a talk- podcast. And then, bam, news breaks. The Steelers yeah, fucking that. dump a first. Brilliant fucking move, by the way, Pittsburgh. Roethlisberger goes down for the season. Right, corner. And you just gave up your first for a corner. That probably could have got you a franchise quarterback. Yeah, but especially if they just tanked the rest of the year. You could have gotten – you could have replaced uh, Roethlisberger. What are you going to do now? You just That's gave stupid. away your first for a fucking corner. That's so stupid. They could have gave away a third or a fourth and then another, like a shitty player. And then Trez uh, uh, Paler. Was it Trez Paler? I always get it mixed up. It's backwards. Trez Taylor. From, I don't know who you're talking about. The Chiefs reporter. Oh, I don't know. I always get his name mixed up. I love the dude. He comes out and says the Chiefs are really aggressive in trying to get uh, Fitzpatrick or Minka. But you know what? When teams are wanting a first-round pick, they're wanting a top-15 pick. A Chiefs first-round pick is 32. Yeah, yeah. So we don't have that much shit. And everybody's, ah, fuck Veach, fuck Veach. Well, come on, man. Right. I'm not giving away the house. I don't want to throw a receiver in the mix. No, I don't want to either. I don't think we should mess with our offense at all. Nope. I really thought that Reggie Ragland getting benched healthy scratch was because we're trying to package him up. Uh, So. And I think our linebackers have been playing great. Damian Wilson stepped up, and he's been playing. I think he's been playing great. I think he's our number one performing like linebacker. Uh, our defense looks so much better. I can't stand seeing Ben Neiman out there. I know. I don't know why they put him what out there. What the fuck? I mean, if he's getting it done, then he's getting it done. But I haven't seen him. Dorian O'Daniel must be the st- most stupid dude on the planet. I mean, he shut down Gurley that one game. I don't know if he if that was just a little flash or what. I know. He played good last year. He had me all pumped. But I'm a homer. I get pumped for everybody in the offseason. Yeah. Like um, Byron Pringle. You know, like, ah, oh, he's and making this nothing. roster. And they, then they, yeah. Cut he makes, on. yeah, and passes waivers. I'm like, there's no way this dude's going through waivers. I'm like, we just kept Traymond Smith and gave up Pringle. He's yeah. gone. He goes through just fine. Yep. I think DeAnthony Thomas looked really good, especially coming out in, like, 84. He had, like, a new swag. He looks on. like a different and player. Then, yeah, and then he went out there. He played good on special teams. Still ain't never done shit. No. Um. So, Jalen Ramsey. I'm – all for it, but but the thing the thing is, if we make a run, if we make a run for him, I don't think we should give up anything on offense. No wide receivers, no nothing. I think we should just give up defensive players we got now and picks. Yeah, man, it's so. 
especially a wide receiver. I don't think we could afford to give up a wide receiver right now with Tyreek being out. Because you got Sammy going off one week, and there's D-Rob going off one week, and there's whatever, McColl. But it, it takes all three of them to game plan like that. Because exactly. there's no number one receiver. Yeah, but if you want to stay like that, and that's how Reed does it, Reed spreads it around. But, man, Ramsey, you're going to get him for the remainder of 19 and mm-hmm. 20. That's if he doesn't hold out and 20 for more money. Tell me that dude ain't going to hold out. He's going to. You're going to give up a one and and because there's going to be an and since It'd Fitzpatrick just got that. I'll be a first in Ragman. I would do it. Uh, yeah, I'll just keep my mouth shut in case everybody down in Miami is watching this. Yeah, go ahead and take Raglan. I don't think that gets that deal done. Jacksonville. Um, Jacksonville, sorry. Um, But Ramsey is the type of player, it's like Marcus Peters. When their exactly. guys are yeah. uber competitive, man, they lose their passion. They lose their cool. Not all uber competitive dudes, but just super goober, uber you think they lose competitive. Their passion? They, yeah, because they just get so into it. They just... You know, like I had a buddy that played golf, really good golfer. He shanked a shot. He was throwing clubs. He was just uber competitive. If you saw him in real life, he's the most calm person in yeah, the no world. I'm sure everyone knows someone like that, yeah. Yep. Um, Ramsey has to mature. And so you know you're getting Ramsey for a ye- half a year, maybe next year because he might hold out. You would have a year to tag him, but you're not tagging him. You're not. I don't know if we can we, afford we to can pay him. Pay him. Good. It sucks. I want us to bring in he if it's not going right, man, it goes south because those guys he's he wants to win and I get it why he's frustrated down in Jacksonville. Yeah. You know, you kinda gotta ignore that. But Well, I mean, I don't know why people are so negative on our corners right now. I mean, we put we let Raiders put up ten points. Jacksonville not very many points, but twenty. Twenty six. They got a couple it's touchdowns late. trapped. It's late. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, and we're going to have Morris Claiborne coming in. I've never been hyped up on that dude. Why not? Uh, Ward, He's I think we're going to. Matthew. I saw one of the guys tweet, oh, um, Sutton's first game or first year with us, this defense was cold. Well, Sutton was running man coverage. That ain't no, flipping that ain't difficult. Kidding. Hey, go run with that dude. We're dropping zones. We're playing uh, man on man on one side or on one guy and then dropping zone when it's a smarter defense. And you saw the progression from game one to game two. Ward looked better. Mm. A lot of those guys, man, they're not building rockets for NASA. Yeah. They play football. Right. We got, what, two picks? Three picks? It was two, right? Two, I think. It was Ward and uh, Breland. Breland. Derek Carr looked like shit. I love and it. right before when they went, and I think at the field goal on that drive, he's looking back at Gruden and uh, the camera caught him smirking and smiling. I'm like, oh, this motherfucker. Because I was nervous. You know how rivalry games go in Oakland. Yeah. They're always tight. Always oh, go yeah. down last minute. And I hate Oakland. I hate Carr. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then, man, a few minutes later, dink, 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 dink. Yeah. He's, he's balling in the first quarter. No, 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 no. Mahomes come out. Oh, in the second quarter. Oh, yeah. yeah shut him up. Yeah, yeah. Passing touchdowns like Snoop Dogg in a concert with a doobie. Passing touchdown. Oh, okay, gotcha. Passing. Just, I just lighten it up. Yeah, man. Mahomes in the second quarter was so impressive. I've never seen him. He just attacked it. Just everything. It was just open. And uh, what's his name? Something. Joiner. Their safety. Yeah. Number 20. He had a post game thing, and he was like, Oh, well, it was just a couple of miscommunications. And other than that, we do uh, okay. It's not a miscommunication. Yeah, I don't think it was a miscommunication when D-Rob caught it over your guy, mossed you. Well, they had Sam. He opened uh, just wide open, didn't even cover him on that third down play. Yeah. Just yeah. past the dirt, on the dirt. Coverage, but that wasn't a touchdown. Then they did have, um, D-Rob did have a blown coverage. They ran, I think it might have been Hardman on a jet sweep. That's not miscommunication. That's Andy Reid. But it's miscommunication. It's those guys you get up and line up quick on a miss on a jet sweep, and so if you're in zone or man and you're passing those guys off, he didn't get picked up and it was pimp. But There's that's a Andy Reid. You're right. Miscommunication and taking advantage of a stupid defense and getting fucked up. You're absolutely exactly. right, and exactly. that's what happened. Mm-hmm. That's the Andy Reid's genius. Dude, Andy Reid is a genius. You look at Sammy Watkins touchdown that one where he was the misdirection where Sammy went up and went wide open. Yeah. That should have been an Andy Reid stat. Nothing to do with anybody else. But that was amazing. We busted them on that play last year. 
Jaguars? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Dude, we're doing it without Tyreek Hill. Dude, Andy Reid's so good. Now he's got a quarterback that's special, man. When you have a quarterback like that, all the receivers' games are brought up yep. because the ball's on them. Yep. And Mahomes hitting that little, uh, like that little jump back, the two step jump back. Yeah. <laughs> and then after that one touchdown, he got a little shoulder shrug to oh, the Raiders was, bench. Yeah, because the Raiders were like, they're getting him pissed. What? The there was a, what the? Can you see? No, oh, oh, yeah. I think that got in his head because that's when the uh, switch flipped. Well, Brittany didn't even go to Oakland, his girlfriend. Yeah. Because she's like, I'm not going to get bullied. Yeah, screw that. You know, so them boys going to the uh, attitude. I am really bummed. That Oakland is moving to Vegas. That sucks. Don't get me wrong, man. I hate the Raiders. I hate the Broncos. I hate the fucking Chargers. But you know what? I do have uh, pride in like we're the AFC West. I like it when the Broncos are good, when the Raiders are good, the Chargers are good. You know, I like it when everybody's giving the West props. Mm -hmm. I like our rivalry. Have I told the uh, Al Davis, me, me, and Al Davis on here story? So. My dad had season tickets to Chiefs, and I think I was in junior high. It was back when the Raiders were really good, and uh, Al Davis always wore a white. white Nike outfit. Gold necklaces, gold rings, bracelet decked out. Dude, I thought he was – I thought the dude was cool. He's a Raider. I hate him. He's a Raider, no, but – I respect him. But. Yeah, he was a coach, a GM, the commissioner of the NFL, and an owner. He was a commissioner? He was a commissioner. Dirty dog. Yeah, he was wow. a commissioner. Yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty fun. Cool. I think it's never going to happen again. Yeah, I know. But it was uh, before the a game at Arrowhead, and we had seats. So we sat section 118, row 29, seats 3 and 4. And 118 splits the middle section on the 50. I think that's 119. So we're the next section over off the center. So if you came up from the field, normally you would walk up the steps in between – those two sections. Well, Al Davis was walking up, and Poppy, my dad, stopped Al Davis and said, hey, would you come over here and show my son your Super Bowl ring? So Al mm-hmm. Davis, yeah, Al Davis walked over. It's before the NFL wasn't that damn big back then. It didn't have the coverage. It didn't have all the social media shit. It right. wasn't twenty uh, its own channel 24-7. Al Davis stopped, walked over, sh- shook my hand, showed me a Super Bowl ring. That's pretty cool to do to a Chiefs fan. Cooler and shit. And I, you know, I, as much as I hate the black hole, I love that rivalry of, like, us Mm. going and what's his name, flexing on them. Flowers. Flowers. Brandon Brandon Flowers got that pick six, put the ball down. Jamal getting beer thrown out of him. Like, that's football. Yep. Uh, I love that. The rivalries make it so much more interesting. I'd much rather watch us play the Raiders than, well, actually, I'd probably watch us play against the Pats. Get close Pats have become our new rival. Yeah, that's crazy. They're not even in our division. Yep. Um, and rivals kind of flow. But and Jacksonville's kind of become a rival, too. Uh, I wouldn't say that. We've been be- we've beat them both times. We've yeah, spent twice in two years. Well, I mean, yeah, but it's just such a physical game, and there's so much tension on the field between the players, at well, least. That's not between the fans, but. That's the pride that Jackson defense had and the swag they tried to carry. But, man, look. When the Chiefs were starting to come up good with Andy Reid, like when we would play the Broncos and the Broncos were good, you knew we were going to have injured players because those guys were playing that hard. And you see with Jacksonville, half their team was on uh, the uh, – That was because Damian Williams juked him out of their shoes on the sideline. He's done that both weeks in a row. That kid is so good in the open field, man. I love D-Dub out of the backfield. Mm-hmm. Just throwing wheel routes, man. Yep. Hit him down the field. Give it to Shavy and or Shavy. Yeah. Give Shavy. it to Shady and then um, little D Train man. Where, where's yeah, that dude I been? I don't know why we're not implementing him. He came in what third, fourth quarter. He didn't. I don't think he had any carries. I mean, like if he had one. I'm pretty sure. And no, didn't go not, for nothing. Yeah. It was bad play design. Well, then they know what is going to happen when they bring him in to close the game. We took Reed always takes his foot off the pedal, and yeah. that's bit us a couple times. Bit us last year in the Chargers game. We allowed the Chargers to come back in it, but. Um, Gruden's his buddy. He doesn't want to embarrass him. You don't want to have That's that. Stupid. If you do start hanging shit on teams, man, they remember that, and then they, you know, they Whenever mark you. Good, yeah, they. The same thing. Yeah, but I mean, the thing is, you got to know who you're playing against. If you're playing against the Chargers, you're up three touchdowns. They score a touchdown. I think you should be right back on the gas pedal until you yeah. score again. Get up, get up five touchdowns. Eight. 
It would be good. Well, man, our defense looks so much better. Okay, but let's go back to Ramsey. All right, so you get him for the remainder of this year. Next year, maybe. Is that worth the one? Um, Perez Taylor said, I'm pretty sure it's Perez Taylor, said it would be equivalent to um, Dallas Cowboys bringing in Deion Sanders. And it's the same thing, man. Yeah. Deion Sanders blow up on the sidelines. And Ramsey hasn't. That tackle on Tyreek was football, man. Yeah. Those guys yeah, always it wasn't it wasn't as dirty as people made it sound. They always land on each other. That's what lets you lets the other guy know you're gonna be there and it's gonna be a battle. Yeah. It wasn't cheap. Um, we think ball. it's we think it's cheap because yeah, that's Tyreek Hill and we're all defensive and love that dude. But right. like. Chris Jones absolutely crushed fucking Nick oh Foles. My God, but yeah. all his weight on him. Yep. Did the I same don't know how thing. I wasn't a flag, to be honest. Me too. Well, they said because he got sandwiched and hit between one of our other players. So it wasn't was like Clark. an intentional. Yeah. But he still went on him. He well, still broke his collarbone. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. he could have rolled off him. And I'm surprised he didn't get hit for that a little bit. But that's football, man. But. But Riley was saying, we were texting about uh, the Jalen Ramsey trade, or like if we wanted to trade for him. And he was saying he'd rather pay Ramsey than uh, Watkins next year because we're going to have to pay Watkins next year. Uh, Watkins is going to redo his deal and take less I, to be a chief. Hopefully. But the thing about doing that is Ramsey has the the temper and the problems with the coaches and everything on the sideline and the players. Watkins has not been nothing but helpful for our whole wide receiver group. Yeah. He's lifted everybody up, and he's not he's not greedy to where if he's not getting involved, he throws a temper tantrum. Correct. Yesterday, he didn't – I mean, not yesterday. Whenever we played, whatever. He didn't – he wasn't that productive in the first half. But he got – when he got the ball, third, fourth quarter, whatever, he still made – he still made the play. Yep. But Ramsey, if he's not having his way, he'll shut down and – Throw a fit. But, but you know what? he let up 40 yards against DeAndre Hopkins. Uh, and That's Hopkins it. came out and said, he's one, of the, he's one of the only guys who can run with me. Yeah. What more do you need? But a one for the remainder of this year. Thing is, we need a corner because we're going up against. We a. know B. it's you know it's going to be A B Edelman and Josh Gordon. Gordon looked like shit last week in Miami. It don't matter because whenever it's that time of the year, Brady's going to make them look real good. And Maybe they got more. They honestly have more skill at the wide receiver position. Not as much speed, but it, way more skill. It fits Tom Brady good, but our speed fits Mahomes good. It's going to be an offensive throwdown, but their defense is a lot better. I don't see anybody giving Jacksonville a one for Ramsey. I do. Yeah. I don't think I think so a lot because we're going to try and go you, for as a GM, He's the best corner. But as a GM, you're like, man, you. This is a 14 game guarantee. We're already two weeks in. All right. Well, actually, you can say. Yeah, 14-week guarantee plus playoffs plus one game. Do you give up a one for that? I That's a it lot. Depends. It depends on if you're going win now or future. Because if I was going win now, I'd do it. But if I'm looking at my team and I'm happy with it, then I'll save that and get a lineman or something. It's such a tough call. Okay, but I know our window is huge with Patrick Mahomes. I mean, like 15 years. Yeah. Easy. So do you give up a one of five years to somebody who could ball? But now I know there's it's hit and miss. And will we be able to afford him for five years? No, a, no, a number one pick. Oh, you yeah. control a number one pick for five years on a fifteen year window, as opposed to fourteen games. Uh-huh. Yeah, I mean, I, th- I don't know. That's and, why the decision's not mine because I can't. I don't know what I would do. And good God, if we bring Ramsey in and our defense starts playing like shit, or he gets lit up and he starts opening his mouth, it could be detrimental to the team. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's just like Odell. Uh, I mean, the Giants were already trash. What's this, a good example of that? Of who? Of, of Ramsey? Team? Well, I guess it was. Yeah, Ramsey doing what he was doing. Just how a player can affect the whole team. Because that's your main guy. Imagine if Mahomes was throwing a temper tantrum meal on a read. We'd lose 100% of that game. Oh, yeah. Well, like, so that's why we got rid of Marcus Peters. I do mm. think that Marcus Peters' deal was because of Sutton. Remember, Peters got into it on the bus with one of our defensive coaches. Well, who do y'all think that was? It, it was Bob Sutton, man. Bob Sutton went playing dudes, whatever. But Marcus Peters is uber competitive, would lose mm. his shit. And, man, 
we put him on a pedestal. You could run 10 yards burned. comebacks all the time on Marcus Peters. Yep. Mahomes was killing him in practice, looking him off and going the other way, jumping routes, not coming up to tackle. You know, if you're not coming up to tackle, you better be fucking Deion Sanders. Yep. I think he'd be a better safety if he learned Marcus? How to, mm, if he learned how to tackle. Because, I mean, if you're not going to – He's ball you're not gonna, Yeah, if you're not going to be on someone's hip the whole time and you're just going for a pick once or twice a game, that's what you got to do. Whatever. Safety, like an Earl Thomas kind of thing. Whatever happened to uh, – how has he been doing this year? Peters? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I've been following him. Somebody was like, oh, he's speech. trash. He hasn't done shit. He was, wasn't good last year. Uh, he was all right. <laughs> well, I mean, you still watch him get burnt all the time. But yeah, and, he, and taking plays off. Yeah, exactly. But, man. but well, you can't take a play off at corner. I That's can, the position you can't. Nope. That's a touchdown every time. I can't imagine being Veach right now. Whatever Veach does right now, I just I don't think I'd be upset either way if they bring Ramsey in. But I understand if they don't. Yeah. But I do think we need a corner. I think we should. I think we should have sold out on Minka. Obviously, well, supposedly we, we tried. He didn't try hard enough. That would have been huge because we would have had him on his rookie deal. We would have had him for a couple years. Three, and he's at good, least. Yeah, he's a good teammate. He's not having the problems Ramsey has. But he is second year player, right? Actually, you can't even say second year player. He's got one year, right, two is, games. Yeah. And his mom's tweeting he's out of position, and he's bitching about he's out, out of position. Like, dude, play. Yeah, and that's the thing. Everyone's saying he's a slot corner. Well, our only really strength at corner is our slot corner. Fuller, and Fuller had a good game last mm-hmm. week. Ah, I think all of our corners played good, but everyone's tripping about him. Yeah. I mean, Fuller played good, and then Ward and Breland both got a pick. Yeah. If we, if you win the turnover battle, then it doesn't matter if you're getting burnt. Yeah. If somebody uh, the other day was or on my timeline was um, talking about uh, Honey Badger not making plays too. I'm like, well, fellas, they're not going his way. Right. right. Yeah. You try your. Of course, these teams are going to do everything they can to avoid that, and that's up to Spagnuolo trying to get him in position to Spagnuolo. still be able to Spagnuolo to make plays. Yeah, but you know what, like. A corner or a safety, if you ain't hearing their name, it's a good That's reason because they're either exactly. getting cooked or missing tackles. Yep. Um, so now, if you ain't missing no tackles, and he's come up made some pretty clutch tackles on like. So I remember it was like probably like second and ten against Jacksonville, and he held on to his leg. Remember that? And he was dragging yeah. Up, and it was third and short, and we ended up stopping him. Yep. Ten points in Oakland, fellas. That was huge. Yeah, and Derek Carr and the Raiders are on a roll. They are who we thought they were. We yeah, went ahead and crowned Raiders. them. Yeah, they, everyone was so high on them. They played Denver. Yeah. And they were like, oh, they got three sacks. That's that's uh, ten less than they had all last year. That's the worst offensive line in the league. Oakland does got some ballers on that team, though. Worst offensive line in the league and the most immobile quarterback, immobile quarterback in the league. Well, you can't say who. Flacco. Oh, yeah. They didn't get any sacks. Um, we got some sacks on them. Uh Oakland does have some good dudes, man. Farrell, yeah, Farrell, I mean, they're tied in. Who like you watch these guys in hard knocks, and you're like, man, that's the no way that dude's good. And they went, out, I'm like, I don't, I don't get that because I do picture people and how they play based on what they look like. I do, <laughs> man. Like you know, well, how I mean, many like certain, there are certain people that are just trash, whatever. And then when it's game time, they're in a different mode. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but. Oakland does have some talent. Man, like we were talking about earlier, Khalil Mack, I can't believe how good he's playing. Khalil Mack never did shit against us. That cat's killing it. I don't really remember him playing against us when he was with the Raiders. Because he never did shit. Mm. But yeah, dude, when he got moved to the Bears, that's insane. Because what happened was, when he was with Oakland, he was their only their only big guy on defense. You and now he's, he's with Eddie Jackson and Kendall Fuller and... The, all these other guys on the Bears defense and a good defensive coordinator, he can just get back there. Oh, my and God. And you got some coverage to make the quarterback sit there a little bit longer. I fucking sat New England's defense against Miami and went with Chicago, and New England scored 30 points for me on defense nice. or would have. But you know what? I'm like, man, they're playing Miami. Those games are always weird. Like, New England always they play lose. In Miami or yeah. They did. Yeah. But I'm like, they're not going to play like that again. It'll be something kind of like a rivalry game. And 
shut out, yeah. two pick sixes. Uncle Bill sent me a, a text and said, have you ever heard of Patriots defense? I'm like, fuck. Yeah, that was dumb. That was really stupid. But she I drafted it. Melvin Gordon, though. So I got him, too. I can't say anything. I got him, too. And I don't know what's going on. There's nothing on the news. That is yeah. a shit organization, man. Chargers, you guys are Chargers a shitty suck. organization. How do you have – trade the dude. Get rid of him. You're not going to play him. Like, why exactly. lose that capital? Stupid. That's so dumb. How they could have used it and got uh, Fitzpatrick or, or that uh, Minka. Minka. Well, yeah. Yeah. Well, Hello. Isn't, isn't Derwin James out for the rest of the season? Or is it the other guy? I think it's, it might be James. But, like, hello, you guys got Gordon, and you're going to not make a play on any of these corners? That's yeah. a shit organization. Yep. But also, you look at us, well, how's Miami's wide receivers? They, they just got rid of Kenny Stills. They got Albert Wilson. They got rid of, rid of Kenny Stills? Yeah, they traded his ass. So, all you have is Albert Wilson? Yep. We could have traded them D Rob for Minka. I wouldn't have wanted to get rid of D Rob. I'd be cool with getting rid of Pringle. Oh yeah, dad. if they took if they took Pringle. <laughs> Let's go down. How about Dad? Yeah, you can keep Dad. How about give Dad and Sorensen? Hey, well, how about we'll give you Sorensen and Neiman? What are guys? I do that. <laughs> what are guys doing? I not like. Well, I Neiman's Soren, a good I kid. Sorensen and Dad are huge on our special teams. Huge. Then Sorensen punt the, plays good on the special teams. Punt That's the, the bitch out of bounds. Does. Just stand and turn 30 yards. I mean, like, if we get a quarterback. No, we back. need the best advantage we can for our defense. I know, there. I'm just being facetious. But, I mean, I don't want to get – I don't want to start missing out. How, much, how often do we punt anyways? Well, I don't want to start missing out on generational talent to keep fucking Sorensen for special teams oh, yeah. or debt. No, but, I mean, let's be realistic. It's, we're completely hypothetical, right? I know. And Chiefs Kingdom, man, I tweeted earlier, like, this I, this is the best time ever to be a Chiefs fan. Mm-hmm. Montana era, I went through that. Uh, it was nothing like this. Because of social media, because you can reach out to players. Darren Lee retweeted my deal earlier. I thought that was That's pretty cool. cool. That's really cool. You can't, there's, there's just so much information, so much hype. We're that fucking good. And it's just like everybody's been saying on Twitter, uh, Chiefs Kingdom, man, watching these other football games, like, Boring. It's boring. Yeah, exactly. Because, I mean, we've gotten accustomed to these explosive offenses, or our explosive offense, just constantly making plays, constantly forcing the ball down the field. Yep. And it's surprising whenever we see a, a quick drive, three and out. That's like what what just happened. Yeah. I know you, it was like you guys weren't even trying. Yeah. Well, I wonder what the score of the game is right now. Browns. Odell yeah. had that huge uh, catch. It took for a while. Got me uh, ahead of. Riley and Flag, not Flag Fantasy. That was nice, man. But that safety uh, just got eaten up, and then he kind of rolled out and <laughs> didn't want oh, nothing to do with being on TV. Uh, just just says Browns got or Jets got manhandled. Yeah, they did. So they're on a third string quarterback now. Yeah, and somebody tweeted that like like what did they sign him today? Like I don't know if they're just messing around or if that was re- real. So what's happening with Breeze? What happened to his thumb? He How tore long? some ligaments in, and he's going to be out six weeks. Six weeks? That's taking them out of playoffs. Who's in their division? Uh, Falcons. I think the Trash. Panthers. Trash. Cam Newton, what the hell did he have on his head the I other really day? Yeah, Cam Newton's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, stop worrying about what you're looking like. And go out and play football. That man, he just looks really timid when he throws. It just takes a little bit too much time in the pocket. He's not being himself. He's not running it. But if you go look at like what they're doing on the goal line stuff, he doesn't have the confidence anymore to go jump over. Oh, man, you know. dude. They've hit it out of him. That dude's taking a lot of punishment. Dude, he's big. He's like a – he's bigger than like Julio Jones, which gets cracked all the time. Julio. I don't know why people just look at quarterbacks and just automatically assume that they are just pussies. Quarterbacks? Quarterbacks. I mean, well, you take, you for years they were. Well, yeah. I mean, but I mean, the game's evolving. You look at Cam Newton, then you look over at Eli Manning. Of course, there's going to be a little bit of a difference when it comes to injuries. All right, so the Jets lost 23-3. to Some guy, I don't know who it was, was like, look, man, let Le'Veon Bell be the quarterback. Like, because they had, what, minus – 
one or two yards passing for like I'd run a bird. Times. Yeah, run like they, he can't do any worse. I'm like, that's a pretty good idea. Run wildcat. Remember, oh man, when was it? It was probably when we had Kendrick. What was his name? Kendrick Lamar. Not no. Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lewis. The dude with the, yeah, Kendrick Lewis. I don't know how you knew that. But we, we remember we were thing. almost uh, gonna play him as quarterback one week. Oh he yeah. In college and we were, <laughs> We Imagine. went through some shit quarterbacks. We deserve Mahomes. Oh, we do. We very much do. And you know what? I can't believe all the love the Raider Nation's given Mahomes. They're like he's legit. Like we're fucked for the yeah. next fifteen years. Yeah. Mahomes dude, is a man. Every time Gruden loses to us in his post game interview, he's like, "What are we gonna do? It's Mahomes." Yeah. <laughs> he's just so depressed, dude. Because you can't stop him. He just was on fire. Mm-hmm. And man, he could have gone six touchdowns with. Over 600 yeah, yards. And he had that bomb to McCoy that was brought back by McCoy. Yeah, McCoy. And uh, Reader, I think, had a holding call on that, too. McCoy put his head down, and uh, Burfecht just kind of s- turned. Yeah, and got his arm stuck in him. Burfecht got some wheels for linebacker. Dude, he's good. He's just a dirty player. Remember, he almost took AB's head off? Yeah, but I kind of like what? him more for that now that I realize what kind of person AB is. Man, everybody, we hate dirty players on other teams. Oh, if he's on my team, I'd love him. Yeah, that's how it was. It's you know, we always had to, you had some headhunters back in the day. Yeah, I think I think that's what's missing from the league. Just a super strong hit, or on our team, just big hitter, just yeah. vicious, running all over the field. And just pop, yeah, and the forcer. Yeah, I think they were, should really go to a lighter helmet. I think it's the weight of the helmet. Go to a lighter pad and a lighter helmet. Because those helmets, when you're adding weight, it increases the force of the impact. If you made the pad smaller, the players wouldn't have as much confidence to just speed and just boom, just running right into each other. There'd be a lot less injuries. Well, if you didn't have that smaller. big, heavy-ass helmet on, you could still go You could go with a lighter pad with a gel or something that would still you know, protect you. It doesn't have to be that small. I don't want to don't lose protection for the player, but I think those helmets create a lot of injuries probably well i mean I, it depends helmets definitely save some injuries without helmet would suck but what are you doing well i was going through uh, twitter to see if uh, what was going on have you picked up Ramsey yet i know right i don't know if i want them i just I take back them, and forth i w- i want somebody absolutely and we need some kind of corner. And Ramsey is fucking legit, but like I just, I hate to be Beach right now, man. There's a yeah. lot of pressure on Beach mm-hmm. right now. Yeah. Because he's in a no-win situation, man. Really. Well. I if I were him, we got a really good team right now, and there's no reason we got a wasted draft pick. What if we sent in our first round for Ramsey? He comes in, tears his ACL, first well, week with us, and he I, doesn't play. I, I it's wouldn't, high risk. I wouldn't be mad at all. No, I wouldn't be mad, but also I'd you be gotta pumped. think about I mean, you have Ramsey for the rest of this year and then it's another headache to try and either pay him or let go of him. And then it's either he's making problems on our team or not. With that or he's just balling out and we win the Super Bowl and yeah, who I mean, it was it worth could, it. it could. And that's more likely we're winning the Super Bowl. We're yeah. gonna win the Super Bowl regardless. Dude, I'm worried about the Patriots. Fuck them Patriots. It's early. They don't ever start on fire. They did this time. But normally they don't. Brady, just wait. He's going to start getting hit and shit. And when it goes, it's going to go quickly. He said that last year. He won the Super Bowl. No, he didn't. Well, he yeah, should have been. He threw a pick <laughs> in the end zone against us and threw a pick to lose that game. Brady yeah. didn't fucking beat us. By any means, Brady didn't beat us. The game he was over. He still walked down in overtime. D. Ford... Well, off. I understand that it's easier to blame D Ford, but he st- he still walked down on our defense in overtime to win. It wasn't just D Ford. We still had another opportunity. It was just a lot harder. We could have won, should have won, but if if and but now were candy Brady has more offensive Christmas. weapons. I know, man. Fucking A B. Brown, the best they're, wide receiver in the league. They're meeting with that chick tomorrow. I hope he goes down for rape and just <laughs> he's in prison for the rest of his life. Man, I, well, I hope he doesn't go down for rape. Well, I mean, if he, he did, did it, but it, then I hope he did, but, I mean, whatever happened, I hope it's justified, but I hope he doesn't play this year. It sucks, man. Could you I imagine if they, they get, get Ramsey? Huh? 
Imagine if they get Ramsey. I would be pissed. They, there's no way. There's no way they can have Stephon Gilmore and Jalen Ramsey, the two best corners in the league. There's no way. How do they afford all these players, number one? Brady doesn't do big deals. I'm going to be pissed when Mahomes gets a big deal. He better do a small deal. Can't if he wants to win Super Bowls consistently. I think he does. I At first, I was like, no, Mahomes going to get that money. But he does make it. I think he's smart enough where he's like, man, I want capital for players. You look around Chiefs Kingdom. Everyone's all – you're wearing a Mahomes shirt right now. You know how much they make off of jersey sales? How much? A lot. They do? They make a shit ton off of jersey sales. On top of their – Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So well, they, make, they make that and then the, um, the amount of commercials he's in, dude. Dude, he is. He's, and he's with Adidas and Oakley and High V and, like, all these – Guys are just paying him out of the ass. He's getting it paying on. Two hundred dollars for a pair of glasses. They made them for thirteen bucks. They can give a hundred dollars to Mahomes every single pair sold. I don't know how long we've been going. Probably like an hour more. No way. Do well, man. I'm not gonna lie. If we get Ramsey, I'll be so stoked. No, yeah, me too. I for sure would be. I'd be super excited if I if it actually went down and we didn't give up anything too major on offense or defense. What about Darius Slay? Uh, Darius Slay, I think, might be available, and he. Sh- I would be a hundred percent down for him or well, Marlon Humphrey from Baltimore. I don't know. If he's Baltimore there. ain't letting go of nobody. Um, but I was watching some. I was tweeting out earlier, going, "Oh, Darius Slay's trash. Keenan's whipping him, just eating him up," and then, you know. Slay must have stepped up and started shutting him down. Dude, Slay's good. I'd be happy with him. We just need an elite corner. That's all we need. One elite corner and we won the Super Bowl. Because we just need – we got – we still have talent oh, yeah. back there. And I think Thornhill's going to evolve. We can throw Matthew in the slot too. We have good defensive backs, I think. But if we had one, like, Hooli Magooli corner, that's Super Bowl. Win. What's the Saints playing good for us on the line, too? Okafor? Yeah, Okafor's playing good and Emmanuel Ogba. Ogba. 90. Yeah. yeah. Man, those guys look really good. And Naughty. Naughty's been huge against the run. Naughty w- w- had a really good game the first week. I didn't see him do a lot. He, he wasn't. Stuffing, but I love Naughty. I love Naughty, man. He wasn't. I don't even think and I saw him in too often last game. K Pass. K Pass been going off, too. That's your Bob Sutton. Uh, yeah. Bubble right there, like that was, what the fuck? Why wasn't he playing last year? Idiot. I like K Pass, and I like that he stuck it in there, dude. We've got a lot of guys with good attitudes that are team players that want to win, want to be Chiefs. Yep. When you go out there and get it, we yeah. I just love with the players that are just passionate about being a Chief and winning with the Chiefs. Those are the players we got to keep. I don't give yeah. a fuck about anybody else that is like, I don't see if there's a bull ring or. Anything. Yeah, no, but I'll take some rental guys to get us another yeah, ring. I take a rental Ramsey. <laughs> I take a rental Ramsey. One eight hundred rental Ramsey. Yeah, bring it. Uh, hey man, thanks for all the follows and the shares and coming through and watching Hi, Jim. us. Your uh, your Broncos still suck. Yeah, they do. Uh, <laughs> goddamn. Again, Raiders fans, I'm sorry y'all are losing your team. That's bullshit. If our Chiefs went, got up and moved. I would be devastated. Yeah, I'd, I'd cry. I look all. I look forward to Chiefs games all week. It's three hours. It's just actually not three hours. It's all day when I want to forget about bullshit. I can mm. think, watch my Chiefs. I've you know I've always um, been in into Chiefs, right? But like right now, like I'm so into like everything. Like it just everything's mm. highlighted. Yeah, I feel like you're undermining it. You're a big Chiefs fan. Oh yeah, I'm a, afraid. <laughs> the data, this magnitude of a Chiefs fan, you got to be a Chiefs fan. Yeah, I'm huge. I spend like the last two hours of every day watching Chiefs stuff. Everybody thinks we probably just set up this little corner for the Chiefs shit. I can get this a little bit. Everything's dirty right now, but it's real dirty. So it's gonna be a quick thin. It's all Chiefs, boys. It's all Chiefs.
Here's your 360 degree view of our basement. Dirty. You like it? Yeah. I'm so excited. Anyway, thanks again for coming through, man. Drop us some comments. Don't nobody comment. Yeah. Because everyone agrees with us. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we can dive into something else, too. Probably not. It's probably going to be Chiefs. Probably, you got anything yeah. you want to end on? Go Chiefs. I don't know. That's it. <laughs> Fucking peace out, kingdom.